Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of WebInformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today, we're looking at the dashboard of Blue Coat Systems DLP appliance, which is used to protect against data loss and prevent unauthorized users from seeing your most confidential data. The product also works with Blue Coat's Proxy SG appliance to increase content security. Let's get started by first going to register the data that you're most concerned with. You see here it comes with a variety of different predefined types of structured data tags, filters for particular file types, and patterns such as detecting social security and credit card account numbers. To further refine its searches, you can also upload files or other unstructured data that consist of employee or customer names and addresses or other proprietary information from your desktop. We click on Add Red List Data button and walk through the wizard. Once you have this set up, you create a policy to manage what happens when this data leaks out. Go to the Protect Data tab, and you can see here the dozens of default policy templates that come pre-installed. We can either edit one of these, or if we click on Create a New One, we can start from scratch, and you can see here that you can allow the data to pass through your network and log the incident or block the activity entirely. We can also create policies that protect encrypted data, too, and I'll talk about that in a moment. To make changes, we click on the pencil icon and then the Register Data tab. Say we want to change our inappropriate language policy to filter both inbound and outbound traffic. We bring up the graphical rule editor. We make the changes to the logic by clicking on the direction and protocols here. Now let's set up a few data leak scenarios and show you how they're reported. Let's say I am sending a series of customer contacts using a private webmail account, and moreover, I'm sending them over an encrypted SSL session. Here you see the screenshot creating the email and the resulting incident that's recorded by a DLP appliance when we go into the view status and click on it in the dashboard. When we open up the incident and click on the ID, we can see the details of the match data that was detected. We can also set up the box to educate end users that they're doing something risky, such as adding unauthorized data to a public website, in this case Wikipedia. We can customize the block message displayed on the screen. What did I like about the product? It's very easy to set up and use. There are various reports available. The tab under View Status Incidents gives you a good feel for what's going on around your network, such as actions taken, top source IP addresses, and offending user email IDs. I also like the way it works with leading email encryption vendors' appliances and the Blue Coat Proxy SG to set up policies to ensure that sensitive data is encrypted automatically when it leaves your network. You'll want to spend some time understanding these options. The important thing to remember is being able to understand the logic inherent in the various policies that you create and making sure that the policy is looking for the right patterns of data that you want to protect. If you don't set up your policies correctly, you could get yourself into a lot of trouble or create a lot of false positives. To sum up, Blue Coat has an innovative way to detect and prevent data loss and is worth a closer look. Thanks for watching this screencast. You can view more of them at webinformant.tv, get information about my speaking business, and links to other articles 